subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Hello everyone. Today on Lady Mary Beth, it's all about thrifting. I decided to go north of Houston and I traveled to Conroe, Texas to see this Goodwill store. I've heard great things about it, and my Goodwill lately has been a bit disappointing, although my friend did find some bargains last night. So come along and we'll see what Goodwill has to offer, and then we'll try some more antique, thrifting, and resale shops today. Welcome to the Goodwill store in Conroe, Texas. This is uncharted territory for me. I have not been here before. And you know, I'm always looking for dishes. And I spy a piece of Linux. You can tell with the classic ivory look and the gold rim. I love the rose pattern. Let's turn it over and double check. And it is Linux. I don't see a price on it. So I will just put this in the cart and we'll figure it out at the register. This looks like the Rosenthal moss rose pattern, but it's not, it's made in Japan. This is clearly a copy and that would still be nice to add to a demi tasse or teacup collection, but there are no saucers. And this looks like Wilton Armatel, the shrimp cocktail set, but it's a bit dull. Let's turn it over and it's made in Mexico. It is not Wilton Armatel. $11.99 is very pricey love cobalt wouldn't this be beautiful at a place setting with fruit cocktail or ice cream for dessert wish they had more than two and i love punch bowls this would be great for serving a trifle even a banana pudding or of course for a beverage a rose pattern is beautiful and these colors remind me of kind of mid-century with the chartreuse and the blue these vases are nice you could even display them on a shelf love the combination there the diamond cut and they have a nice collection of glass here I will say this divided dish is lovely that's something I've seen before that's the cased crystal I'm not finding any fine China patterns a lot of made in Japan made in Italy this bowl is interesting I like the shape of it you could use that for most anything even for your mail and I would certainly take my name off if I'm donating it to Goodwill not everything has a price, this one does, but you do see the Roman numerals, so that's $4. These small rimmed bowls would be great for a fruit, maybe a fruit cobbler, peach cobbler dessert. It's the Castleton Court, made in Japan. And the bunnies are great. It's never too early to shop for Easter. It looks like they're putting it at half of the retail price. The chalices look to be pottery, maybe handmade. And these are lovely. Wouldn't that be nice just to display or you could even donate them to your church. They have a large collection of dolls. It must have been someone that just unloaded their estate. And I don't collect dolls. I have a Bilo baby that I got when I was a young girl. I still have her. Um, the collector's choice I was not familiar with. So I looked on my phone and these go anywhere from about $45 to $250. So I would say that their prices were really good on these dolls today. I've just never seen so many in one Goodwill store. And I even found more later as I was checking out, they had them in another area of the store. So $12.99, I mean, that really is good. And my friend found this vase and I told her I didn't really think it was of extreme value for $9.99. It's probably more of a, you know, just made in Eastern Europe. And we're in the thrifting mode. These angels are nice. That would be great for the holidays. I like the, the clear. It goes with anything. And this must have been a souvenir from a DC visit, the White House. And we never see photos of the back of the White House. I really like that. And these coasters, right away, I knew these were Ben's Garden. These are handcrafted in New York. 
wine a little, you'll feel better, a quote from W.C. Fields. These are absolutely beautiful antique copper and glass. They normally sell for $50 for a set of four. And for a dollar a piece, that's a steal. And I found a Nordstrom sticker on them and they were, I think, $12 or $13 each. The spoon rest is beautiful. I love lemons. It's from Sir La Taube. And for $2, see the Roman numerals, R for red, it had a chip in it. This is a nice tray. I think they'd be great to display, especially during the fall. It has that look about it. And for $2, I don't know what the color of the day is, but I just don't need it. it that's a steal. Makes a great gift. And they have some nice collections here of platters and trays. I thought that was really nice how they merchandised everything together. The poppies are lovely. And I turned it over to find out more. And this was designed in Australia, made in China. And you can see it's easy care. And this looks like it could be from Tuscany. Very provincial look. A nice back stamp that gives you lots of information for $5.99. That's really a good deal. Would look great propped up in your kitchen for a backsplash. And this reminds me more of a bird bath. I don't know why I'm thinking that this is a topper for something that goes outside. $14.99 and it is the partridge and a pear tree. So I guess you could bring that out for Christmas. That's a nice tray. I just really enjoy that they're telling a story with these pieces. You don't always find that at Goodwill. And this glass tray could be for cookies. You could set a vase on it. And my friend is thinking about getting this. It's great for fall. It almost looks like Fitz and Floyd and it's made in Italy. So obviously it's a really good deal, but then you have to have storage for it. And uh, that is sometimes um, a deciding factor. And this is an interesting look with the plaid and the roses. It looks almost like Ralph Lauren and it's from Neiman Marcus made in Italy. And I'm sure that was very expensive before. And that's $15. I think it's a bit high for Goodwill, but you know, it's Neiman Marcus. And that would be interesting for a baby shower. It's kind of 70s, 80s. I like to look at glassware. You never know if you're going to find that lone Waterford Crystal glass, which I have found before. For $3, this is a nice look. It's very lightweight. And this looks familiar to me. I don't know if it's Royal Limited. I've seen it before. They just had one champagne flute, but I think that would be interesting too if you had a collection of different patterns. For two bucks, that's a deal. And put them on a silver tray and everyone remembers their glass. It's fun for the holidays. These I think are really nice. Tall iced beverages. I like that they're footed and look at the etching. I think that is a great deal. And for Lord of the Rings fans, we found a pair of glasses and that's a good deal for $1.99 each. And this is a glass that's familiar to me. It's the Bartlett Collins grape leaf and it's got a gold rim. My mother and her best friend used to drink their tea out of this, their iced tea after a day of shopping. And I have one at home I found at a Goodwill in Galveston, Texas, so now I've got a pair. White Barn is a brand of Bath & Body Works, and this is one of those warmers you plug in and place your wax melts. And it's new in a box. I think that's a really good deal. I'm not getting it, but that would be a good gift. And you know, I love Chinoiserie in blue and white, and this kind of goes that direction. I like the shape since it's a butterfly. I think the candle is a bit odd, but I will just melt that and use it as a vase. And this I think is for citronella to place outside to keep the mosquitoes away, which we need in Texas. And it's brand new. The trio of battery operated candles is really nice. I like the LED factor. It looks kind of Indian, kind of has a good vibe to it. And these Hurricanes look like they're missing something, but you could still place that maybe inside of a wreath and utilize it. They had a few silver plated items and the chip and dip, I think for $20 and it's not in the best condition, I think that's too much. I would never pay that at a Goodwill. And see the copper coming out, it's turning green. That means the silver plate is gone in that area. And this is a nice tray. I like the shape of it. It has a little bit of pitting there on the left. Sometimes I carry polishing gloves in my car just to have that option if I want to check it. This is a newish looking item, which I'm thinking is lacquer coated. And that's why it's so shiny. I have the same tray with a matching chafing dish and that's a quality item from William Rogers. Can't go wrong with that, but I certainly don't need another silver tray.
And the oval is an interesting shape. I like that you could put cookies in it or even bread for the table for $3. That's fair. This I think is a much better quality though. And it's a sweet small dish for $2. It's William Rogers. You could clean that up and put some chocolate truffles in it and gift it to a friend. The Coca-Cola carafe. I remember when pizza restaurants used to have pitchers of Coke on the table. That's probably what that's from. And I like all the colors that they have with the vases. It's a very vibrant look today. And this is interesting. I wonder if someone brought that home from their travels. I've never seen this before. I like the ruffled edge on that. And here are my purchases. I'm so happy to have these. It's great to have coasters to keep on your side table or coffee table. And of course the sugared fruit look with the thumbprint design. Happy to have that goblet. And Linux, let's see what the price might be. And I'm gonna work on this one. And now it's time to check out and this is probably the longest line I've ever seen at Goodwill. Well, I got some good deals here at the Goodwill in Conroe, Texas. Those coasters that are from Ben's Garden were only a dollar each, and they were from Nordstrom's, and the original price was $12. So that was a deal for three bucks. I got $36 worth of Ben's Garden coasters. And the Linux bowl didn't have a price on it. The manager came over and offered $12.99 and I didn't want to pay that. So she settled on $3.99 and I'm glad to have that. And then of course the ice beverage glass that reminds me of my mother. And that candle that's sort of chinoiserie with a butterfly, which matches my necklace today. So now I'm going to go down into the same shopping center. There's an antique shop and I can't wait to see what they have. So come along with me, let's take a look. Always look at your surroundings. Today I came in to Goodwill and had no idea there was an antique shop in the same center. And you know, I love antiques and I see some beautiful lighting wear behind me. I can't wait to go in. Even though I'm in a thrifting frame of mind, I might find some bargains or some hard to find items. Let's take a look inside Crossroads Antiques. I can tell right off the bat they have some beautiful collections. And of course I gravitate towards the jewelry. This is James Avery, mostly retired pieces. This is a Texas jewelry designer. I've worn their pieces since I was about two years old. My absolute favorite. This is similar to the Monaco ring that they had in the 80s. I have it in Onyx. And the prices are about what the retail would have been. This is a chrysophase. And this particular ring is hammered, lovely, not James Avery. Now we're back to the James Avery pieces, many of which I have. You may have seen me wear these in episodes. Love it. That looks like a Jeep Collins. And the Holly pendant, actually it's a pin, is lovely. My friend is always finding interesting rings. This is sterling silver with pearl. I'm not sure what the blue stones are. I don't know that they're sapphires. Lovely. And they even feature some vintage items here on this hall piece. I'm amazed at their jewelry assortment. They actually are an estate jewelry company as well. So that explains it. They do purchase from estates and have some really great pieces from different eras and styles. And since we're in the South, you see some Southwest and Indian influences, Navajo. We'll find some pieces here in a minute. There's a James Avery charm bracelet. Those sell for a whole lot on the secondary market. The cameos are gorgeous. Here we've got some Navajo pieces that you would find probably in New Mexico and West Texas. They also have fine jewelry. Look at the fire in those opals. And lapis. What a collection. And that's a Mickey Moto bracelet. You can tell by the detailing on the clasp. And I do like to purchase from estate jewelers. I think you get some quality pieces and the prices usually are very fair. This is a James Avery hammered pendant that I have. I was just curious about the price. It's hard to find. They haven't made that in years. Just beautiful items. I definitely want to come back here and shop. I see a Wedgwood pin, Jasper Ware. Isn't that lovely? And I love their beautiful porcelain pieces and some cobalt cut crystal. Limoges boxes are highly collectible. You probably have seen my segment on that and how the kaolin 
in the Limoges, France area has influenced the porcelain market all over the world. There's some more cobalt crystal. And really old collections too, and everything's in excellent condition. And since they do buy from estates and they do accept consignments, you find quality things. What a difference it is between the Goodwill store down the shopping center to this and some more great collections. I see some familiar things. Let's go back to the Beatrix Potter figurines made by Royal Dalton. This was one of my first collections as a child. And I see Hummel figurines in the back too. And German porcelain. Look at the reticulated compote, just beautiful. It's almost like going to a very high-end estate sale. Everything's well cared for and the prices are good. And that's not something that you would expect to find at just any antique shop. I like the different colored ice beverages. And this cottage garden from Ainsley, that's a strawberry basket. I've not seen that style in that pattern before. And they have some beautiful transferware. That turkey platter is really neat. And then they also have some chinoiserie, Eastern influences there with the porcelain. Really like that. That would display nicely in a cabinet. And these are highly collectible as well. And Majolica, you saw me promote that in uh, Rummel Creek Antiques and how that's something that most people probably don't know about. Majolica was copied from a style from the Renaissance. And these are very collectible, quite expensive and coveted by collectors. And their products here are just amazing. I think this is my favorite piece. You could place a pillar candle at the top, maybe even find piece of glass to nestle in there and create a floral display. I hope that you all look into Majolica because I think it's just something that is often overlooked. This is an exquisite demitasse. It's from Limoges, France, which was the original porcelain maker in Europe. And this I can tell right away is Shelley. You can tell by the scalloped edge, the rim of the teacup, and that's the rose spray from Shelley, England. Very indicative of their style. They have beautiful sterling items. Anything from the Victorian era to probably the 60s. And I don't think it has to match your pattern. If you want to add an interesting spoon, a sugar shell, for example, or a demitasse spoon. I enjoyed window shopping here. And you see the cobalt liners for the salt cellars? That is to keep the salt off the silver, which would not be good for it. Lots of elegant glass of the Depression era. The Fastoria is beautiful. Wouldn't a dessert be nice in these? Of course, you could use them for champagne, the intended purpose. I think at $42, the etched ice bucket is a steal. Fastoria. Look at the ruffled edge, the opalescent look. Oh, these are fun pieces. I can see an arrangement in that piece on the left. These candle holders, I would say, are rare because anything in that amber topaz color, not as much was made, I'm assuming, by most glass companies because these are very pricey usually on the secondary market. And I love vintage cake stands. You can never have too many and you can do so much with these. Stack them and create a whole new look. Lots of American brilliant cut glass and it's beautifully displayed here on this Victorian piece. I think one is prettier than the other. And this was the great surprise of the day. This is a Millennium Collection Waterford Crystal Punch Bowl. I've never seen it in person. It's made by Jim O'Leary, a friend of mine that he was the design director for Waterford and um, talented man. He had quite a following too. And that's Jim O'Leary. What an amazing find. I never thought I would see this. And funny story, I'll tell you about in a minute, but this actually belongs to someone that is kind of a celebrity. And I worked with him at Waterford Crystal. And if you watch Shop HQ, then you definitely know. Such a sweet surprise to come into Crossroads Antiques today as we're out thrifting. This is a Waterford Crystal punch bowl. There is 
only one that's from the Millennial Collection, and this belonged to George Perez. As you know him, Jorge Perez, who has his own channel on Shop HQ, and I used to work with him when I was at Waterford Crystal. And he's got this he's consigning today, along with some punch cups, and I wanted to share this with you. I see lots of Waterford crystal. Oh, this takes me back. Look at the pair of lamps at the top. Those are the Karina pattern. The Clarendon Hawks are highly sought after. They are cased crystal. They're available in many colors. They've done their homework, obviously. The Colleen Hawk Wines are well-priced. And I have these napkin rings, quite a collection, so I'll probably pass since I don't need more. Here are the Emerald Clarendon Hawk Wines. And so many pieces I remember from my days, the candle holders, the golfer. And I think that their stems are priced very well, along with the candle holders. The Donegal pattern is retired. You know, Waterford is the only crystal company that never discontinues a pattern from the classic line, not marquee by Waterford. That's an excellent price. And you can always get it. It might take a year, it might be $120 a stem, but you can always get it. The Lismore Compote at $32 is a steal. Definitely gonna get that. That's the Bethany candle holder, and most people don't know what it is once the candle is missing from it. I see some beautiful bowls. That's the Colleen that is one of my favorite patterns. The wedding bowl with the hearts. The Lismore Compote, and it turns out there are two of them. That is a very versatile item. You can do so much with it. I think. If I were given the choice of a bowl or a compote, I'd probably choose a compote. And that is a museum collection replica. That's beautiful. This is the older Waterford Crystal sticker. And I wanted to point that out. It says Republic of Ireland. And that's probably from the 60s. This is the Baccarat Lalonde pencil cup. And that price at $40 is a bargain. It, I think retail was over 200 and they list it as a vase, and of course it could be a vase. They actually have two of them, but it's a pencil cup. And this is the rarest item that I think I've seen with Waterford Crystal. It is the chalice. It's $54, I'm definitely getting it. The only time I've ever had my hands on it was with a covert mission for Waterford Crystal, and that's another story. Anyway, that, I can't talk about that, but it was an interesting story and uh, they're so rare. I, that's the only time I'd ever seen it. The Waterford Lismore cake plate, that's one of the first pieces made in Germany. And I chose this for my bridal registry, and I think it was about $110 in 1995. So 85 is an excellent price. And I'm gonna get this so that each of my girls can have one. And they have a beautiful array of Swarovski crystal. I don't think that there is a collection that they don't represent in this store. And the Lalique, Absolutely beautiful. And I like the Victorian chairs here. The whole look, you could just put that in a foyer. Look at that cut crystal. And dolls seem to be the theme of the day. They've got some antique ones. The one on the left is very old. And they are highly collectible. So, you know, for someone looking for that, I think it's a good price. I have a chair much like this in my vanity. We call it the beauty chair from the Victorian era and I really enjoy it. I'm glad that we found this hidden gem in Conroe, Texas, Crossroads Antiques, and the Waterford Chalice was truly the find of the day, and what a beauty this is. In my day with Waterford, it was a special order item that would take up to a year to get. Very few were ever made, and I doubt that you could even order it today. It's definitely not stocked in any stores. And the Lismore compote is lovely. I actually have one of these, but I'm grabbing one more and my friend is getting one. And I think it's perfect with the Waterford cake plate. This is an item I chose as a bride in 1995. It was brand new at the time. And look how they work well together. You could easily serve fruit with a special dip and really get creative with it or use it as a centerpiece. So let's head out and find one more thrift store and then we'll circle back and talk about our day. Now we're at River Bridge Resale and Consignment. It's about five minutes away from these other stores across 45 down Highway 105. And can't wait to see what they have today. Okay, we're at the last stop of our fun day of thrifting antique shopping. 
and this is Riverbridge Consignments. I was able to preview some of their items online yesterday. They're located off of Highway 105 in Conroe, Texas, 105. Let's take a look, see what they've got. And you know, I gravitate towards all the pretties before I can look at the furnishings. I see some Fostoria American pattern. These champagne flutes look to be maybe European and they're actually from Princess House made in France, lead crystal. You may recall Princess House was sort of like Tupperware. It was home parties. My mother would attend those. And my friend discovered this picture right as we walked in. It is Block Crystal, that's the brand. And it's a little over $10. And she's really happy to take this home today. That'd be great for serving orange juice when you're offering mimosas. Love that. And the way their prices work is similar to some of the charity resale shops where the price goes down each month that it's been in the shop. So the price, it's the full price for these bouillon cups and saucers, which I think is a deal. They look like Haviland. And these gold juice glasses are nice. I love the divided dish. That's a very collectible pattern. I have quite a lot of it. And I've never seen the sugar bowl with a lid. So that's a real find. And I'm glad that they are pricing it together so they don't get separated. And this I think is the King's Crown pattern with a thumbprint design that came in various colors. Miller Rogoska is a company started by Mr. Miller who was the distributor for Waterford Crystal in North America in the 60s. And when he lost his contract, he started his own company. And you know, we're in Texas when you see bar stools representing the year that we became independent from Mexico in 1845. And these are really great pieces. This I saw online. I previewed it the night before and I love the colors. What a statement it makes. It would actually go with my living room, but I don't have room for anything else right now, but I do like it. And the chaise longue is really nice for a sitting room and it's sold already. That would be nice for an office. And I like that they display things. So it gives you an idea of how you could present that. This piece, I especially like the space underneath. I could store chargers. It'd be great for a dining room. And at $5.95 and it's gone down. It's now $505 deal. This reminds me of a cloche. And I've done some segments on how to make your own cloche, how to display things. And it's got an opening at the top, as you can see, so that you can burn candles. I'm really liking this small sofa here. It's a very spacious store and it's easy to shop. I highly recommend that you pop into Riverbridge in Conroe. I love coffee tables. You could stack some books there and this crystal tray would be perfect to place there as well. Be good for tea time. And that's made by Royal Limited, which I think was a Foley's brand. It's a department store that had that made in Eastern Europe. This ruffled art glass vase is really neat. That makes a statement, even if you don't fill it with flowers. And look at the oversized chairs, but I am focusing more on this sideboard. That looks regal. And look at the glass panels on the side, the granite top, and of course, it's Henrodon. Henrodon is the Rolls Royce of the furniture industry. And you cannot find this for probably under 5,000. So that is an excellent price. Let's look inside. I like that they have glass shelves as well and look at all the detailing on the front oh it's a great piece and this kind of matches it somehow look at the feet on it and it's also henredon it would be a great library table or an entry table i love the shape of it and the look and of course the tassels are nice too look at that quality it would be fun to furnish a home all over again and to shop here and they have lots of great artwork as well. Comfortable sofas and a few dishes, but mostly furnishings and some home decor. That's a nice piece too that could fit in any room of your house, whether it's an entryway, a bedroom, even a living room. It's a Bombay style chest. Seth Thomas is another clockmaker similar to Howard Miller, maybe not quite as prestigious, but they make some great clocks. And that's a fair price. The rush seating is very relaxing, kind of a country look. And that's a good price too on a pair of chairs. This I thought might be a silver chest, 
You could probably have something made for the inside, but I was hoping that's what it was. You could tuck that just about anywhere in your home. And it's officially an end table. And I like that they have lots of different brands and price points here. That's a bit of a modern piece. And of course I have to look at the crystal bowl for $28.50. The carved elephant, and they also had some framed artwork that creates uh, quite a look and tells a story. This mirror I thought was very interesting. It is recycled paper that they have quilled and made into a mirror. And I can see this for a college dorm or apartment and for $36.50, I think it's great. Love all the colors here. I can just imagine this in, in a home. It makes me want to redecorate. And it's so spacious too. I love the tufted sofa in that color. It's very inviting, isn't it? And it's $8.95. The price has actually gone down to $8.50. These chairs are also very Texas looking. And that would be great for a dining table. And I think that's a fair price considering what they cost at retail. These are nice storage shelves. You could display some beautiful collections. It'd be great for a living room. And this honeycomb design I really like. You could probably even remove the tea lights and place some flowers there for a dinner party. And this sleigh bed is really nice. I like the carving on it. And it comes with the rails for $7.95. This is an antique piece with the claw feet that my parents had when I was growing up. It's oak and uh, so many memories of this. And I just love it. I love square tables and for $2.25 and the price is going to keep going down. It's a good deal. This chest really piques my interest. That would look great in my living room. It looks sort of Indian, maybe from the colonial days, and it's also Henrodon, an ornate chest. Love it. And this would be great for the home office. So many of us are now staying home. And the Union Jack, a shout out to Anne from the UK, one of my viewers, who is always so kind to comment. And they have a clearance section of items. And this, of course, I just love. It's an oval shape. It's Victorian. It reminds me of something my grandmother would have had. And I wish I had a spot for it for $130. Oh, I love this royal blue color. It's a nice size sofa and it is custom made. And I'm sure that they spent thousands on it. Look at that nail head trim. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, here's another great piece. It would look great in a dining room. I like the lamps. You could just take the whole package with you, including the artwork. And that's a faux granite top. It's not Henrodon. And it's great that they have various price points too. And they also have some gifts as well that are new items. Let's go into this back room and see what else they have. Of course, I'm finding a piece of Delft. I love it. And apparently no one else has loved it. So I'm gonna take it home today for the lowest price, $15.72. Look at that with the maker's mark and everything, and it's in pristine condition. So I didn't have to go to the Netherlands and pick it up. Someone else did that for me. This is more of a modern piece, and I like the look of that. Round tables are great. That could be for an entryway as well, if you had a large enough room. And for the Led Zeppelin fan, this just came in. And I think the price is pretty good when you consider it's been custom matted and framed. I think that's the deal with the 45. Thanks again for coming along today for a fun day of Goodwill shopping, antique stores, and reselling consignment. I sure had fun today at Riverbridge Consignments and of course a wonderful antique shop that we discovered and Goodwill did not disappoint. I enjoy being here today and finding this Delft vase for $15 and my friend is getting this petite block pitcher for $10.50. And as you know from previous segments, you can do so much with pitchers. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Beth. Elevate your everyday with beautiful finds.